Good morning, everybody. Welcome to East Campus in Matthew 2. Welcome to East Campus in Matthew 2. My name is Valentina Salapura. I'm general coach here with Professor Mohamed Zakhan from NYU. We have worked, started working on this conference three years ago before we knew. <laughs> Before we knew what all will happen. Uh, I'm very glad that we are back in person after two years of pandemic. It is wonderful to see our community coming back together and uh, meeting again. Everybody is very eager to restart connections and professional networks. So we are very, very fortunate and glad to have you all here with us today. This is the first time that ISCA is uh, in New York City. And uh, this is a wonderful city. Uh, I'm so glad we are, uh, you are here. Uh, this is actually the most famous city in the world. And we are located in the very heart of that city. It's called um, Gotham City, Big Apple, City of Lights. City never sleeps and um, offers tremendous energy, a lot of uh, cultural and entertainment options. And I hope you will have a chance with you and your friends and family who will travel with you to it or with your colleagues to explore and experience and enjoy at least a little bit this city, maybe to visit some progress show, to go to world famous museums or just to hang out at one of the wonderful restaurants. We have put together a very exciting program for you. Uh, there will be during this conference altogether three keynotes. Um, uh, we will have two panels, one started last evening, we had one last evening at the reception. Uh, a large number of workshops and tutorials, I think we are studying workshops and two tutorials. And we will also have a poster session later today for people who had only chance to publish virtually with ISCA 2020 and 2021 to show the papers in person, to, to try to kind of a little bit bring this physical interaction between the authors and uh, people who read it. We have also prepared for you a excursion and banquet on Tuesday evening, we are going to take a uh, sightseeing cruise, three hours, we will cruise around Manhattan Island, and you will have the taking views of New York City and Statue of Liberty. We also want to give our many thanks to our sponsors. First of all, to our diamond sponsor, Meta. Then to our platinum sponsor, FutureWay. And to our gold sponsors, same D, Google, Intel, Microsoft, Broadcom, and the last company, I will not. <laughs> Thank you. I was looking for somebody from the company to, to, bring, to say the name. We are not going to mention the, the silver sponsors and, and bronze sponsors. We are very grateful for them too, but they are, we have a box outside with their names. And with this, I will speak to Z. Thank you so much. Uh, last one thing, uh, Valentina said that, that there are some nice museums and parks outside. But maybe also she forgot to say there are some sessions that should be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it is also one of the attractions in New York City. So don't forget about that. Uh, another thing is we have a record high uh, resistance for this issue. We have uh, tomorrow, uh, today morning. 977 registrants, out of them about 230 something are uh, remote, the rest are in person, which is one of the highest numbers in this uh, 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 history. It can, it's very interesting, uh, very interesting budget wise, since now I'm talking from the chair, the general chair, so I'm looking at money. Uh, and it comes with its, with its uh, challenges that you will see yourself in the next uh, couple of days, especially on the cruise. We 
have here the nice five charts. Uh, the colors are not very artistic, though, uh, but it shows the breakdown. And one of the important things that you can see is that this is that from the previous ones is that the percentage of uh, students is much higher than before. Uh, actually, it is one of the rare times where the number of students is almost half. Previously, it used to be less than half, which is quite, uh, which is good actually in the eager young minds of tomorrow to come. You know, uh, we would like to thank very much for our fabulous organizing committee. I believe I, we have really got them with gazillions of, of emails. Uh, more specifically, I made it with the statistics. I exchanged with them 1,347 emails <laughs> in the last 15 months. Yeah, but I haven't yet laid down these numbers with how each one of the organizers will be, but we would like to thank them very, very much and for, uh, yeah. Since we have been working in very, very challenging times during the pandemic, and maybe many of you do not know, uh, the initial video of, of, of this uh, five nine bankruptcy three months ago. <laughs> so we were without the video for uh, 13 or you know, years. So that was a pandemic economic situation, no menu, but they had a very difficult job to thank you again. Uh, quickly, before we need to start, there are some challenges and opportunities. Actually, there are only challenges, but in order not to look very pessimistic, I'm including some opportunities that I ended up. Uh, Yesterday. So it was very hard to predict the number of attendees because when I looked at the world of nearly a skin person, this yes, we are higher than the highest one by about 300 percent. That was it. Initial venue, like I mentioned, uh, challenging economic situation, and I don't know why we have to look at this. Anyway, in this effect, we have, we have very generous sponsorship, even though the numbers are not as high as previous ones. And for the first time, we have online plus in person. We cannot say this is hybrid, it's just to be speedy. So it would be to have really fully hybrid thing requires a little bit more technology, some maturity, and some setups, and all that stuff. We are doing our best, maybe this is a start, and we'll move on to the future for that. And my NYC is expensive, as you will see. This is, um, you know, and you will not see it, you will, you will feel it if you go outside and try to drive it. Um, so hopefully we, we will be able to make a nice comeback after the two years to make it a nice experience for all the attendees, both remote and in person. And maybe ISCA, uh, after this experience, will continue to be a uh, hybrid or online plus in person because the visa situation that there is, I don't know what will happen in the future. So maybe that will be a nice experimental uh, thing. And finally, last but not least, we just need to draw your attention that CARES, I'm sure many of you uh, know CARES, so Committee to Aid Reporting on Discrimination and Harassment Policy Violations. They have a table on our site. If anybody needs them, they will be available for the whole duration uh, of the conference. Um, this will end my, uh, my, my talk, but I would like to make two very quick announcements. First, if you feel any symptoms, please get a check. You know, PCR or something. And if you have, uh, well, there are many kiosks for free uh, uh, COVID testing around the hotel. So we try not to be super spreading here. So, yeah, super spreading events uh, for this. The very last note I would like to wish a happy birthday for Valentina. That was two days ago. Thank you. That's uh, how we put this to Rebecca and Linda, EC Chair and EC Vice Chair. <coughs> Thank you so much. So I'm Fred Chong from the University of Chicago, uh, the program chair this year. And uh, we're going to be able to thank uh, my Vice Chair. So uh, it's my great honor to be the program chair of the 49th Fisca. Uh, it was a tremendous undertaking. And that would not have been possible without uh, a great team that created this program. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Big John, who was essential as a partner in managing our two day PC meeting. Um, second, I'd like to thank our student postdoc members, who saw their pictures, uh, Casey Duffy and Nick Peking Khan, who uh, did really all the heavy lifting in managing uh, all the reviews for our 400 papers. Um, third, the dedicated PC and ERC members during these really difficult pandemic times, 
uh, perform more than 2,200 reviews. Uh, and through sort of extensive online discussion and two days of Zoom meetings, we selected 67 uh, excellent papers that we see today at the conference from a pool of 400 submissions. And of course, I'd like to thank the many authors that submitted their best work to this event. Without you, we could not, uh, we could not have such a great program. I also would like to thank the Distance Steering Committee and the CDR TCCA chairs for their guidance in this really uh, complex process of, uh, of sort of managing this uh, selection of papers, as well as former ISCA and micro chairs for the help, especially Lizzie John, Ethan Cook, and Amr Jaleel. Um, so I welcome you to this exciting program of papers and keynotes that reflects the importance of computer architecture uh, in all aspects of computing science and society. Uh, our three keynotes highlight the impact of computer architecture in university computing, uh, quantum computing, and trust in computing. Uh, we have an excellent panel on silent data introductions at lunch today. And you'll see uh, right after the keynote today, our best paper candidates. Um, we focus on implemented computing, admissibility, security, caching, and quantum. The remainder of the sessions feature many innovations in architectures for security, machine learning, and graph applications. There is also a strong set of papers on the second day on novel architectures. And finally, we also have great sessions, sessions on more traditional ISP topics, uh, such as data centers, crowds, on microarchitecture, and embedded systems. So, one thing I'll mention is we've got a packed schedule. Uh, this is the Last is good, it's going to only be two and a half days. Um, that we really, uh, the last two is good for virtual, and we're actually able to pack in a lot of talks without things like uh, we all enjoy, like excursions and talking to each other in person. Uh, so, here, you know, we, we are sort of really uh, sort of fitting everything in in two and a half days. Um, and the next is good at FCRC will actually be three days, uh, which is going to be a welcome change. So, I will urge speakers and session chairs to please stay on schedule. Actually, a little bit behind schedule, so I can make my remarks uh, short right now. So, I hope you enjoy this first in person discount uh, in three years. And also, happy to team. I'm going to move uh, right into the keynote.